This is a capacitor. It's a storage unit for electrical energy. Inside are two metal plates that evenly distribute charge. When hooked up to a power source, one plate will build up a net positive charge and the other a net negative charge. In order to charge it up, I have here a power supply, a resistor, a capacitor, and a voltmeter set up to measure the potential difference across the capacitor. Make sure that the capacitor is connected up in the right direction. The positive end should be connected to the positive end of the terminal, and this is typically a bit longer than the negative end. Right now, the power supply is off, so the voltmeter should be set at zero. To charge the capacitor, I simply turn on the power supply, start my stopwatch, and take readings every five seconds. We can see that voltage increases exponentially with time. The curve can be described by the following equation, where V is voltage, V0 is the voltage when the capacitor is fully charged, T is time, R is resistance, and C is capacitance. Note the 1 minus exponential term because we start with an uncharged capacitor. Since the plot is exponential, to convert it to a linear plot, we need to plot log of voltage against time. RC is the time constant, and we can get that from the gradient of the graph. Now, with a charged capacitor, we're going to reverse the process and watch the capacitor discharge through a resistor. Instead of using a voltmeter to measure the voltage, we're going to measure the voltage across the capacitor with an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope plots voltage against time on this screen. When this is plotted up, we see an exponential decay of voltage over time. Note that the equation of this curve is... Since we've previously already calculated the time constant, we would expect after a time t equals rc that the voltage will drop 37% of its initial value. And we see that this is the case. Using different combinations of capacitors and resistors will give different values of time constants, since it's dependent on both capacitance and resistance, and therefore will affect the time of charge and discharge of a capacitor. In day-to-day -day life, capacitors have many applications, from your TV to your mobile to your microwave. In fact, most electrical devices have capacitors.